Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here as we continue to bring you what we see, hear, and think is really going on on the Red Planet. And today we need to take a look at Curiosity Rover sold 1348. It was a good day for the Rover Curiosity on the surface of Mars. Yes, it was. Why? Well, because it took some pictures and as usual, they were obfuscated to keep us confused, but this is one of those times where it didn't get everything. The software we believe they used did not get it all. And they just, they let it go. And we're going to show you some strong evidence here. Now there's Marsh and Missy to give us perspective, to give us an idea of what we're looking at here. And this is pretty close, folks. We did go in and find a place where we could measure. Now I want you to look at this is a navigational camera a mosaic. And that area right there is what we were looking at. And if you uh, put the rover in perspective as it was zooming in, you can tell now here is a left nav cam image that we use to take measurements because we have landmarks that we picked out. Notice that 0.74 meters, that's 740 millimeters or about 2.4 feet if you're hanging on to imperial measurements. Now at the two o'clock point and the eight o'clock point, away from her nine inch shoes are the landmarks that we used. She's standing right between those two objects and you could see those in our measurement with the nav cam. Now, a few years ago, we presented this image and we asked, you know, do we have reptiles fleeing a disaster? Right in that area where that arrow was. And no, I do not believe that's what this is. Basically, that was a question and, you know, it gets people's attention. But what do we have? Now, we've moved Missy up closer to where we're at. We're going to keep her there for a minute to keep us in perspective. Take a close look at these things that are protruding from the side of this, we'll call it a hill right now. You can see the shadows. When you look at this in stereographic 3D, you will see that these things are protruding. And I'm going to tell you, yes, they do look like heads, snake heads, lizards, or whatever, but that just may be pareidolia. Folks, I think it is more rebar or other types of reinforcing bars. And here we have highlighted some of them. This is not even 25% of them, but you can make out the shadows and so forth a little bit more. Now, remember this, we talked about this recently in the Dingo Gap area. Although a bit larger, that one's a couple of feet long, but think about it. Look at the similarities. Now I admit that these objects seem to be quite random. There's no real symmetry, but you know, there was a disaster, so who knows, but look here. There's some symmetry here and it really starts to make a little bit of sense. And as we move along here, you can see where the breakage is in this object. You can see connection points, something sheared off there, something that looks metallic. And uh, this rim here, just <laughs> that does not look natural to me at all. Now another mass cam image, just slightly to the right of where we were. And uh, you tell me, does this really look natural to you? Folks, these are artifacts and don't fool yourself into believing that it's anything else. This is not natural. We will see you again very soon.